Reports of Shanghai being swarmed by termites has been all over the news lately. Although these little bugs are typically the destroyers of all things wood, they can also be master engineers. After a comprehensive study on termite mounds, researchers at Harvard University found a series of tunnels and chambers in the upper layers of the mounds. These upper tunnels maintain a temperature similar to that outside. So there is a large difference in the temperature between the upper and deeper tunnels, similar to how a hot air balloon floats when it is heated. Airflow in the termite mound is also driven by changes in temperature. This helps air naturally circulate throughout the mound, allowing fresh air to reach even the deepest of termite tunnels. Humans have also learned from these master engineers. Architect Mick Pierce drew on inspiration from the termite mound structure when he designed the Eastgate Center in Harare, the capital of Zimbabwe. This building covers a floor space of nearly 32,000 square meters, but contains not one air conditioner. This helps it use 90% less energy than a similar-sized building. However, termites are still better known for their role as destroyers. The global economic loss caused by termites sits at tens of billions of dollars each year. May and June are mating season for termites, which means we'll be seeing a lot more of them. To deal with termites at home, we can simply place a bowl of water underneath a lamp to lure these white-loving bugs to their watery depths. Yep, that explains it.